I thought I'd documented this, but uh, obviously I haven't. Um, I'm just digging around with a bit of stuff. Uh, Hyper sodiums. Uh, once in the past, I've driven them off a microwave oven transformer with a capacitor in series. But now I've put an inductive ballast and uh, it gives them yield some interesting colors. So I'll just keep an eye on it and uh, we'll try this out. I've got one lamp in the circuit, no uh, igniter. And you can make it strike because the end peak on the. Oh, current is quite high now, what's it? 500 milliampere. Pulse it again, I don't want to burn my M meter out, just double check that it's 500, yeah. I just bridge my M meter out, stand by. I'm going to start again. Let's see. I'm going to yield here. Uh, how many? What's the thing here? 44 watts. Mm -hmm. drawing. Oh, yeah, 1.34 ampere, so we're not the most efficient. Here, got the ballast in series. Oh, cool color effects, though. Warm this lamp up, and now I'm going to do two lamps in series, and then uh, maybe three. May have to use an igniter. Just want to experiment with this. This is quite an old lamp. Oh, the bulb is old. Ah, uh, we still also 1.34 ampere. I don't know how the ballast is going to like that. Probably get overloaded. Let's go on the meter here. And uh, it's a low real action on this device here. And the lamp is striking. So the lamp is being run from the HV winding. I'm just going to do a quick de-energization. See if my ballast doesn't overheat. Oh, there it go. The lamp is striking nicely because I had a capacitor in the end of the past. Thing. I'll just do a quick check. Stand by. De energize device. Energize device. All good to ballast and stuff is stone cold because it's probably going to have a very low power factor. So, no igniter. <coughs> Uh, standard microwave oven transformer in series is 100 VA ballast. Uh, let us acquire full brightness. I'm going to de-energize the consumer here. And that looks not too bad. And I'll just take the camera away and just give you the overall view here. So there's the two devices and I've got the lamp sitting here. Oh, we'll do the capacitor experiment too. So this bulb is now getting warm, which is good. Yeah, we're still sitting at uh, 1.34 ampere, about 46 watts. So we're in the reading, in the uh, yeah, in the right range because it's a hundred watt bulb. So uh, the hundred watt bulb uh, should be within its capacitor. Looks awesome. Here you just got a normal tridonic uh, hundred watt ballast and a random microwave oven transformateur. So the ballast is wired in series. I'm going to shift the jumper over to uh, lamp position too. So there's two uh, high pressure sodiums in series. Of course, to unplug, um, I'll put the camera at the right angle. Gonna energize and I'll see what happens. I may have to put an igniter in. Oh, we got a double one strike. That is really cool. I'll focus on the second lamp because the first lamp is warm. Uh, I just want to capture the colors. The colors look really cool. We've got some beautiful purple violet glow in here. 
lamp is in the process of getting warmed up. These colors are simply stunning. It's only the argon. And we got some different colors at the bottom, so it's slowly getting the yellow, a bit of orange, a bit of shades of violet in here. This is interesting. Ooh. Now we're dropping off. That's interesting. What's going on here? Lotus 50 watts, 1.3 ampere. Oh, I'll just let it go its way. I'll record it and um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, top low again. I've got this thing all growing pur purple, violet. So cool. Oh, there we go. Back again in the orangey glow. I'll set the camera up here. I'm gonna watch this thing unfold. So it's two lamps in series on an MOT and a 100 watt ballast. Of course, we can put a bigger ballast in there, but I just do the experimental purpose for this situation. <coughs> now you see the green lead here, and it's my floating jumper. This is on terminal two. I know I've had three in the past in series, I may have to warm them up and then do number three and then I will do a ballast, uh, a different ballast and uh, I'll fiddle out of some igniters at the same time as well. Let's turn the background light off so I can enjoy the colors maybe a bit better and see what happens. And the energized lights. cool thing is, I know cameras again they struggle, by under running high pressure sodiums they seem to look a bit more like low pressure sodium, they get the more yellow orangey glow. I'm going to de-energize and do lamp number three. Lamps are warm, it's not really hot, so we're going to see if we can get a strike on three. Energized here, so we should be okay. Okay, energized. Oh, all three striking, flickering. That's cool. So you can see two warm ones, and one is completely purple. Electric blue. Let's say it that way. For scientific purposes, this is always good stuff to do. The third one will take a while to strike, I think. Now we'll see how it goes. Electric loom. If this is successful, we're going to make a little ornament out of one of these. Luckily, I have access to heaps of these porcelain fittings. I need to take them out with a skip. And I'll make a uh, decorative ornament and build it all in a box. But it's all pending duration tests. Yeah, check how warm things go. Uh, we check the readings here. It's sitting at uh, 55 watts, which is quite cool. 1.32 ampere, the current has gone down a bit, probably the uh, lamps have heated up and the meter is running very slow here. This is, uh, yeah, quite nice. By the way, these lamps, they're 100 watt lamps. Yeah, we'll let this sit and uh, wait how long the stabilization uh, is going to take. 
6 minutes to 12. We've been going for about 3 minutes now. Takes a while for the third lamp to warm up. Uh, but the cold start is going to be interesting. These two are quite happy. Here we start getting a bit of uh, orange. I'll keep an eye on that. Colors are actually stunning. It almost looks like a Fleur camera. The shades between the violet, orange, and the or yellowy orange. Yeah, we'll call it a Fleur camera. Yeah, really cool. Uh, well, these experiments get done. Bear in mind, a microwave oven transformer is a high voltage device. It needs to be treated with appropriate uh, care. Pulls and plug, safety first. Uh, monitor currents when you're experimenting so you don't exceed the rating of the ballast or the actual lamp. Um, yeah, because the risk is if a lamp overheats it could actually explode and you could get glass in your face. That's not the stuff you don't want. Here we've got an aerial view of the device. I built it in a project box like that. It's an old streetlight relay box. Quite a few of those in the skip over the years. That's a nice insulated box. You put all the control gear on the inside of the unit. Now we're about an hour later and uh, I check uh, how things have behaved here. The lamps are going fine. Ballast. Warm. The mod. Look warm. Uh, power 1.3 ampere. Okay, I seem to be pretty happy. I'll turn them off and turn them back on. Warm we strike. I'll probably yeah, we strike again when they're warm. I'm pretty sure they uh, when they're cold they won't we strike, but. I'm going to test that out, I'll let them cool down shortly, um, got a ballast here, I'm going to put a ballast in here, at the moment the circuit has no ballast, it's just straight, although I bought it up from one lamp, one lamp warm, two lamp, two lamp warms and then three lamp, so I'm going to yeah, implement this ballast and see what it does. Well, the lamps have cooled down a little bit. Uh, I restart them as the way it's three in series and nothing happens. Okay, ballast is wired up. We're going to energize, see if it works. Ballast is doing its work. That's a good sign. Also in the flickering mode. A little bit of stress on the ballast, I guess, but. Uh, Oops, something popped. That sounded scary. Oh no, where? That's the connector block. Be a couple of KV there. Oh, the energized device. The igniter. Oh, just let it go. The igniter failed. The energized device. Oh, that's interesting. That got stressed out too much. <laughs> well, and name of science, you need to try things out. Pop the hole. Ooh. 